Hey guys, name's Ken here, and I'm going to talk to y'all today about the Generalink home connection system for your generators. Let's see if I can get you a picture here. This is the Generalink, made by Global Power Products. This is model number MA24N. This device plugs directly into your meter box. And instead of running drop cords all over your house and through the windows and through the doors, you just easily plug into this little unit right here with your generator. Now, I have already cut the power to my house inside. I flipped all my breaker box switches off. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is explain to you real briefly what I have here. I have the Generac RS5500. I have found that this is more than ample plenty to run what I need, but when I purchased the Generalink unit itself, it comes with a 20 foot power cord that's made specifically for the unit that's going to plug in here. The other end of the plug will naturally plug into the back of my generator here, and it's made specifically for the generator. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in because I need to test it anyway. And just to show you how simple this is, so I just remove this bottom cover right here. I line up the connection here with the little notch that's on here until it's exactly right and it fits perfect on there. There it goes, it clicked right in place. A little slight tug means it's all hooked up. Now I go over here, and you notice my generator is not running, folks. You want to do this with the generator off entirely. You don't want to plug all this up. We have a good solid connection there. I'll go back and double check my connection over here one more time on the bottom down here it will tell me that everything is locked in place just right now this is plugged in twisted in good and tight all right now i'm gonna switch this over to start give her a quick rip hold on a second All right, now I just heard the box over here switch over. As soon as the power from the generator come to it, the box clicked on the bottom. You probably cannot see it, but I'm gonna try to get it in there if I can. See the blue light lit up right there. It says alternate source. See the utility light blinking green. That means that the grid is still available if I want it. So now let's go inside and I'm gonna flip some breakers. Here we go. As you can tell, all my ceiling fans are off. That is off. I have no lights inside the refrigerator. Everything is dark. No lights on the stove. So we go down the hallway real quickly. We're gonna walk in here. And let's see which one I want to cut on. I tell you what, let's cut on the kitchen. I'll cut the kitchen on. Uh, let's cut on the living room. Let's cut my living room on. What else do I want to cut on? How about the microwave and the dishwasher and the freezers? We'll cut those on. Now I'm not right at the moment going to worry about the dryer, the water heater, all this other stuff that's on here. Uh... Let's cut the kitchen and the bathroom lights on. And let's see what we have. All right, now. And you see this is one of my bathrooms. See, my lights are working in the bathroom. Let's come on down. The ceiling fan that just a few minutes ago wasn't running is now running. The other ceiling fan in there is running. 
I can now cut this fan here on if I would like because it's all running on the generator now. And let's see, have power to my microwave. As you can see, I got lights on in my freezer. My dishwasher lights are on. Have power to my refrigerator, my lamps. Everything else in the house is running, even to the little night lights. <laughs> and I can continue to run power as long as I want, as long as I have gasoline. I am not even pulling a load right at the moment, but yet, as you can tell, I'm running right on up into here now. So, What I'm going to do, I'm going to go back inside just like I would, but the power did come back on, and we'll walk back down the hallway here, and if the power did come back on just like the green light that you saw blinking a few minutes ago would show up and it would tell me. So what I would do in that particular instance, I would come in here and go ahead and just cut everything back off so that I can disconnect the power from the generator. Now all my breakers are back off again. Everything is cut back off. And now, and just like I said before, see, no lights. I've cut my breakers back off. My fans are slowing down. Everything's coming to a stop. And we go back out here. I walk up to my generator. I'll shut my generator back off. I've already heard the unit in here. Right here, my general leaking unit has already clicked. I'll pull this collar down and unhook. I always make sure I put this cover back on. Now, that was real quick and simple and easy, but I will go ahead and give you a disclaimer and tell you that I do not work for General Link and I have no representation of General Link made by Global Power Products, but I will tell you that this thing has been absolutely fantastic. It has worked flawlessly ever since we had it installed and it is excellent. So now the only thing I'm gonna do, and that was a good test of the system too, I'll go ahead and unplug everything, put everything, pack it back up and just wait for the next little winter storm or hurricane whatever we should happen to have come from it and uh, should I lose power then this is the only cord is the black one you see on the ground that's the only cord we have and I do put my generator on a trailer so I can bring it from the back side of my property up here to the house which is a lot easier now it does come with a 20 foot cord but I just happen to have a 40 foot cord and each additional 20 foot uh, is uh, an extra $50 I bought the 40 foot cord because I will take it and bring it over here and I'll put it up under my carport <clears throat> in the event that it's raining. But um, anyway, if you have any questions or whatever, just shoot me a message. And uh, I'll do my absolute best to, uh, to answer it for you. But uh, hope you like the video. Take care.